Ladies and gentlemen, Calgary has its first grand prize winner! Well done! Well done! Hey everyone, John here, and Jason too. Hey. So we were at the Calgary Expo, and they were selling these mystery boxes. So they're boxes full of toys, collectibles, trinkets, these kind of goodies, and you have no idea what's inside until you buy them. So there's like all sorts of different boxes, they're like Super Mario question mark blocks, there's, as you see, the Nintendo controller and the Game Boy controller. Companion Cube, do they have that? The this Portal year? Companion Cube, the Doctor Who TARDIS, there's all sorts of boxes. There's the like Pokemon some... boxes too. Yeah, it's weird, it's a Pokeball, but it's a box, anyways, whatever. Um, yeah, Harry Potter, there's all sorts of boxes. So each box has a different price, and they say there's a certain number of items in each, and the value is whatever amount. So, I mean, you're still taking a chance if you don't really know what's inside. So Jace got the NES controller box, and then the next day I bought this Game Boy box. So in this video, we're going to take a look at what we've got in ours. So the items we got aren't necessarily what's in every one of these boxes, it's just random chance, but this just gives you an idea of what you might expect if you were to actually buy one of these boxes. So the guys selling these boxes are Toink.com, I believe, T-O-Y-N-K.com. There are various other booths that were selling them, but we went for the Toink booth because, I don't know, there's... They had a, a huge presence over there. They, they had a lot of stuff, and they also had like these these like super grand prizes. If you were lucky enough, you might win like a console or a tablet in one of these. So yeah, so let's let's dig into our boxes. All right, so who who wants to open their box first? You know what? Just I bought mine first. We'll open mine first. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. Okay. So Jason's gonna open his box first. Let's see what he's got. Wanna well, look in there now? Yeah, all right. All right, it's jumbo mystery time. Here we go. Okay, so I decided to uh, go for the Nintendo controller box. Um, no real reason. I just like the look of the box. I paid 75 Canadian for this, so let's see what's inside. All right, okay, so, so what do we got? First item the gate is a handkerchief from Dexter. It looks like you can tell it's like fake blood splatter. It's not very realistic, but yeah. So we got some thing here from Sherlock. It looks like a lanyard. I love Sherlock. Yes, a BBC series with uh, Benedict. What's his face? Benedict Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Got some zombie hula girl. Uh, Do you want to open it up? Looks <laughs> like it's like a car thing, right? There you go. Okay, cool. Gonna do a close up of that. Back in the box. Domo. Yeah, so this looks like a blind box thing. There's there's various domos of different colors, and the chances of getting like these ones here are more rare. Okay, what color did you get? Looks like this weird greenish thing here. So you got a green one. So the chance of that was one in ten. Ten percent chance. Of that. Okay. Princess Leia. It's a plush Leia. It says, "Squeeze me, I talk." Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, we got something from Alien. I think it's an alien. Yep. Oh, it's a xenomorph from Alien. Okay. okay. And... Oops. Oh, I got a couple big things here. Alright! Adventure Bike time glasses. Plank glasses. Okay, oh, that's cool. Alright. So you got, I don't know, these guys, Jake and Finn, I think are their names, or BMO so and uh, Princess, I have no idea what their names yeah, there's, are. There's some images we'll back there, you can see that too. Sure. Okay, so we got that one there. This is probably pretty good value, right? I yes. mean, they pint glasses. And I think this is the last thing in here. Alright, this looks like it could be like a collector's edition or something. Yeah, so we got the from Goliath Evolve. from Evolve, the Legacy <laughs> Collection. It's a pretty big action figure. Yes. Uh, apparently there's five figures and this is the fifth one so it's pretty big so yeah so this is what Jace paid for get nothing else in here that should go be pretty bad if there's something really fragile at the bottom there and just shuck it but there you go that's so these are box. the these are the eight items that Jason got so there so. you go seventy five dollars worth of stuff or more than I, I as they say right I'm not yeah. sure how much sure how much this this thing is here. yeah I think these two are pretty well yeah I don't know what this yeah I mean 
I mean, this stuff is just whatever, but these things I think are pretty valuable. Anyways, all right, yeah. So, so eight items here from that box. So there we go. Let's see what's in yours. Okay. Okay, a party box for you. Welcome back, by the way, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I chose the Game Boy box. I think they call it the the Game Box O Plenty or something like that because it had the most most items. Like I think they said 18 items. 18 or so. items. Yeah. 18 items. So the stuff in here isn't as big or as valuable as Jason's stuff, but there's more items. So hopefully there's a good chance of finding some really cool stuff in here. I paid fifty nine dollars for this one, so let's let's see what I got. We're gonna do the thing. Sorry. It's mystery time. Here we go. Okay, yeah, I think I'll make it easier to just put this down here. Sorry, Jason. Mm. Okay, so the biggest thing in the box is this. Money Man Jacket. You're rich! I haven't put it on yet, but it's a suit of dollar bills. You think there's at least 60 of them in there? Actually, these are these are hundred dollar bills. Oh, okay. These are American... Okay, so even one of those would have paid off for her. American hundred dollar bills. There we go. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it's a reference to something, but uh, yeah, there we go. Maybe I shouldn't care. I don't know. Okay, so it's sticking to the bag. That's a quality material there. Okay. Wow. As you can tell, this is the first time I'm putting this on. So, what do you think? Am I balling? Or whatever they say? I don't know. Hmm. Do I look like, um... Yeah, okay, anyways, enough of that. I think you need the gold chain for the fourth. There's a chain? Yeah, yeah, you said gold chain. Oh, yeah, I don't have a gold chain. Okay, we got a mask of Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh! Or is this is this Yami Yugi? That's You're Yami, the Yu-Gi-Oh! That's Yami Yugi. Okay, this is Yami Yugi. The the possessed whatever. Put anyway. that on too. Let's check the one. Okay, so we got this. Can't even see. Okay. What else have we got? <laughs> You're really gonna leave that on. Okay. Actually actually this is not going to work. Don't blink. Blink and you're dead. Now I don't watch Doctor Who, but I'm pretty sure this is a reference to the the Weeping Angels in Doctor Who. That's a bag. This is, yeah, just yeah. a just a tote bag, nothing inside. Oh, there we go. Yeah, very clearly a Doctor Who thing. Oh, DW. DW. Yeah. Okay, there's a few action figures in here. First, we've got uh, Anchorman, Battle Ready Brian. There we go. Lots of these cool action figures. Let's take up the other ones. Okay, so if you like 80s movies, we've got Sloth from The Goonies, and we've got Jack Burton from Big Trouble in Little China. We've also got some action figures from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Firefly, and uh, actually James Marsters and Nathan Fillion were actually there at that expo, so if I wanted to, I could have gotten these autographed by them. It's like four action figures, plus this one big one, so that's a lot of action figures. What is this? Oh, this is a uh, this is a cup uh, with uh, Lumpy Princess Lumpy. I don't know. I don't watch Adventure Time, so Princess Lumpy. So yeah, just a cup tumbler thing. Hey, more Doctor Who stuff. We've got I don't know which one is this the the tenth or the eleventh Doctor. I have no idea. It's either the tenth or the eleventh. This is an iPhone five case. So if you have an upgrade to the latest thing, you have an old iPhone 5, there you go, Doctor Who. Okay, here's something that I could use, I do like Mario. This is a mushroom air freshener. It says, strawberry scent. So, apparently super mushrooms smell like strawberries. Anything with that, okay? Very good. I'm not entirely sure, I guess they're mini lunch boxes? Sound empty, but yeah. We've got Attack on Titan, a very popular anime the past few years, and Star Trek The Next Generation. What would be the purpose of a uh, small lunchbox anyway? Teeny tins. I have no idea. You're not gonna eat like just that much of a sandwich right here? Well, no, of course not. It's just, I don't know. So what? Okay. It's just a collectible, I guess. Fine. Yeah, so collectible lunchboxes. Hollywood Horrors, the Bates Motel key ring. The key ring, okay. Featured from. Uh, Featured in uh, Psycho, right? That's mm -hmm. the Bates Motel. Yeah. 
Okay, I haven't opened this, so I don't know what this is. Bates Motel, room number one. Okay. <laughs> We've got an ugly doll from the band Kiss. It's Ox the Demon. Oops. It's got a cape. Ox the Demon. We've got Star Trek 50th Anniversary Collectible Pins. Oh, I haven't opened this yet, so let's take a look at what we got. Apparently, we've got... We've got the Enterprise. Ooh! Oh, might be rare. Okay, last few items here. We got a... Is it a Dalek? A Dalek? 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 Someone told me how to pronounce that. Anyways, it says Exterminate, Exterminate. I guess it's like a decal. So, I'll put that with the other Doctor Who stuff. We've got this thing here. It says, This tomb has remained sealed for over 10,000 years. Open at your own risk. I don't know what this is. Well, are you going to risk it? It's a 3D mummy puzzle. Yeah, a plastic wrap 10,000 years ago. Alright, so it's a mummy. There's something here to wind it up. I don't know what this is. I'll just... Whatever. We also got a Portal 2 key. I assume this is a key. Okay, that's too flimsy to be a key. So, I guess it's just a... Oh, just to show that it's a key ring. Sorry, you just... Or a key... What's it called? A key cap? Yeah, I it's think a, so. It's a key thing. It's key a thing sleeve. for your key. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Portal 2. From Val. Another Sherlock lanyard. If you're a fan of Sherlock... Yeah, so it's... Ah, uh, yeah. And then there was one final thing in the box. There was a card, and it said that I got a grand prize. And through the magic of editing, you can see, I got this Foam Master Sword. They said it was the first grand prize of the Expo. Not a super grand prize like the Xbox One or PS4, but there you go. Took you guys long enough to choose a grand prize winner. As you may have seen in my other videos, I have this fiberglass one that I got from uh, fiberglassblades.com. I don't think the guy's making any more, but that's where I got it from. It's comparable in, in size. But obviously, the foam one, I can actually, like, I can actually hit people with. So yeah, I'm knighting you. So yes, so it was really cool to get this as a, as a grand prize. And, uh, yeah. So, dual wielding master swords? Dual wielding master swords, yes. <laughs> How does that work? Okay, so there we go. These are the contents of these mystery boxes from Twink. I'm assuming it's pronounced Twink or ToyNK.com. So thanks for watching. I've got some other Calgary Expo videos. I did one on the parade that mm. Jason was in, dressed as Mega Man. Yep. And there's going to be a vlog video I'm going to be editing soon. But yeah, I just thought this was uh, worth a video on its own. These are the mystery boxes. Okay, so so that's it. All right. Till next time. Later. See ya. And this is for you. Da -da 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 da 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 Alright, so you're gonna hold your box. Okay. Stand with your back to the, to the booth. He's okay, gonna sure. take a photo of you right there. Okay, alright. Give us that grand prize winner smile. Yeah! yeah. Okay. Come on, second. One second, guys. Very good. Easy prize winner for the weekend. Perfect. We've got lots more prizes coming up. Okay. Congratulations, cool. bud. Thanks for coming back. Alright? Alright. Thank you.